All right, guys, I haven't even powered this up yet, but I took it apart because I can't find out anything about the internals of this online anywhere. So <clears throat> um, it looks like we have, first of all, everything is held together by this top piece. Um, so it's going to be fun to get back on with everything in the right position. Uh, it looks like we have a five wire servo, which means you can't just replace the servo. It means the electronics for the servo are built into this board and the it's just the motor and gears that are in here <clears throat> and the potentiometer so that's the five wire servo this is the charging board with the servo electronics and the receiver built in all on one board it looks like so this is the power in <clears throat> and there's a switch underneath here and it looks like oh wait yeah and this is the camera cable so the only thing it looks like the only thing that would be really relatively easy to switch out would be the camera which I have seen other people do um, I don't know if it's necessary but this one PCB is charging receiver um, servo electronics the camera comes into here <clears throat> but this is the vtx board right here so there's only two basically two components to electronics here and that's um <clears throat> the vtx on a separate board and the um, everything else on the other board so we're not using our different um, remotes Unless you can, like, isolate the receiver signal <clears throat> coming out of the receiver chip, cut the trace, and, like, solder on. And yeah, I wouldn't do it. So that's the scoop. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. This top piece, <clears throat> it just has a weight. Oh, this is just a, just a metal piece that they put right there to weigh down the front end. Um, but you can adjust like the angle and stuff of the camera, which is kind of interesting. But that's a quick look at the internal since I couldn't find this anywhere online. If you're curious, it does look like you could get the one upgrade that might be worth doing is getting this to um, circular polarized, and it does look like that would be you would have to know what you're doing, but it's possible. <clears throat> to solder on a new new antenna even a even a lead even a pigtail to an SMA so you can put left hand or right hand on there it might be worth doing for maybe two of us uh, so that we could go with two people on left hand um, I guess with two people on any circular polarization you could alternate between linear and circular <clears throat> And that would facilitate five people being uh, every other. Well, that's it for a quick look at the internals there.